Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and again this year in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm going to show you this 2007 Legacy, Subaru Legacy B4 Turbo that just came in. An oldie but goodie. It's got 94,000 kilometers on it, which is about 58,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving at Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Super Legacy B4 is a five passenger vehicle in the uh, 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $130 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that to, uh, for uh, or until next uh, April or May. Now, I do have two options to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do have, some do more. Up to you. Now, this one doesn't have the rain guards because it doesn't have the metal frame. So you always, always, always still want to get yourself a good windshield visor okay you got to keep that dash as cool as possible in addition to that you may want to consider getting a dash cover buying a dash cover or if you want to go the cheap way uh, or cheaper way is to get a towel uh, to put over there now it's kind of glistening so this one does have the melting dash syndrome as i call it the sticky dash melting dash syndrome it's quite unfortunate the lexus's uh the subarus some of the Toyotas uh, have that and Nissans. Uh, so you may want to just get a dash cover, buy an actual dash cover for the Legacy and just keep it on there permanently. But you got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So like I said, this one just coming in. So let's get this thing started. So key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You're going to push that one time and it's going to go. Let's leave that over here. All right, I don't know who sits here. Okay. All right, let's put this in here. Oops. All right, 94,495 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. So there's your uh, heat gauge. So it does have a blue light there. So uh, once that warms up, that's gonna go away. That circular one all the way up there is your emergency brake. This one is a hand brake. So when you disengage, it goes away. You engage, it comes right back on. And that one up there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then uh, anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, and take the necessary action, especially if it's red. All right, anything red is bad. But other than that, just a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Up to the left here, you have your monitor. This one does not have a rear camera. You have your radio, air conditioning controls, little space here and a power outlet your uh, shifter the type of drive that you want so it has sport sport sh uh, sharp and intelligent I think intelligence is just a relaxed mode I guess and then the sport and the sport plus obviously speaks for itself then you have a uh, cup holders the uh, emergency brake as I told you about and a center console slash armrest it's gonna give a little extra space and another power outlet continue to the left you have your glove box and a little bit of space on each door panel Okay. All right, and there's your space over there, uh, your passenger space. You got, it looks like a flashlight over there, maybe it's uh, connected to the uh, road flare. I don't know, I didn't pull it yet. But uh, this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I'm, I'm good right here, I can slide it up maybe an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Let's go eye level, that's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Now normally I take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. 
All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on uh, all graded non-accident for their auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers that can't uh, tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll also help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers that will try to uh, discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So you can obviously see a wire here. It looks like it might be here for a web, uh, webcam, a dash cam. Maybe that's coming after um, in the mail. So I don't know. But uh, if it does not come in, then we're just going to have to tuck that away. Uh, off here, uh, to the left, uh, that this guy's hanging. That's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Then over here, and it does have paddle shifts. And then, off to the right here, you have your mirror controls. Then this is going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you, or, I'm sorry, not this one, I'm sorry. That's for the illumination, okay, of the dash. So if you want it brighter, you want it dimmer, up to you. That's where this goes, so sorry, that's the illumination. And then um, you have your rear rear wiper and your retractable mirrors. Then you have a little spot here for coins. And then to get to the hood, hood release, it's all the way back here, okay? And then please don't forget on the floor here, you have your trunk release and your gas cover release. And then you have your uh, door lock and window controls right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on the brake. You're just going to push that one time and it goes off. All right. Over here. Okay. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down, about an inch away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, uh, you have uh, this net storage on each of the seat backs that you see. It looks like something uh, too big was uh, probably put in here for a long time, so it's not elastic anymore. You'd have to probably tighten that up just a little bit. Maybe tie a knot in that thing. Okay. And then nothing as far as storage on either of the uh, door panels. You do have a center console, or center armrest, I should say. That comes down, stays level, and it's going to give you two cup holders. And it does have the all-important vents back here. Now, you see this line down here? That means you're not getting any airflow. You want to make sure these are uh, facing uh, the right way, which is up. And uh, this one a little to the left, this one a little to the right. And you got to make sure this white line is up. With the light, white line up, that means you're getting the airflow back here, okay? It's going to help cool down the car a lot quicker. Let's go back here. And it is the all-wheel drive. And here's your very nice size trunk. It's got this aftermarket uh, Subaru uh, liner there, okay? Let's go to the front, show the engine compartment, gonna wrap this video up. There you have it, two liter uh, boxer engine, turbo intercooler, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you go, 2007 Subaru Legacy B4 Turbo. These are hard to come by. 94,000 kilometers on it, again, about 58,000 miles. Military prices are at 5,900. With the additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,700 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.